Hey guys, welcome back. And for today's video, we're going to install SQL Server in Linux Ubuntu. So let's start. Before we begin with our installation, we need to ensure that our Linux Ubuntu was fully updated. So let's start. To update our Linux Ubuntu, let us type the following. At this point here, our Linux update was complete. Let us proceed to the next step. Next, we need to import the Microsoft GPG key to ensure the authenticity of the package that we're going to download. So let's start. To start with, let us clear our terminal by typing clear. Then from here, let us paste our code. Next, we need to register our Microsoft SQL package by typing the following. Alright, at this point here, we're ready to install. So let's proceed for the next step. To install our Microsoft SQL Server, we need to type the following. First, we need to clear this up. Next, we're going to update our package by typing sudo apt update. Once done, let us install now our Microsoft SQL Server by typing this line. Then press Enter. Alright, at this point here, our installation is complete. Let us proceed now on the final setup. So let's start. To configure our SQL Server setup, we need to type the following. For our edition, we're going to select the free version. But for some instance that you already paid the license, you can select from any from this standard here and then choose by typing the number. But for this demo, we're going to use the Express, which is the free version. So let's start.
From here, you can select from any language. But for this demo, I'm just going to select English language. So let's start. Next step, let us set up now the administrator password. Please take note, this is the overall system administrator password for your SQL server. So let's start. Finally, our SQL Server setup is complete. You can now start using the SQL Server application. To verify the installation, we can type the following. Alright, if you see this active message here that says active running, it means that your SQL Server Fully launch. Since we already have the SQL Server, the next step now is we need to download the GUI for our editor. So let's start. From here, head over to your browser. Then from our browser, let us type download Azure Data Studio. Once found, select the download and install Azure Data Studio. Then from here, Then from this section, head over to the link, like this one. So you can click from any platform that you are recommended in this section here. So since we're using Ubuntu, you can select from either these three here. Now for this demo, I'll be using the DEP, which is standard for Ubuntu. Or if you also like to use the TAR, that won't be a problem. So anyway, any from this section here, it's fine. So let's start selecting by clicking the link for this section here. So I'm going to click this black depth. Alright, once done, let us head over to the download folder. Okay, from here, you can see our download package. So if you have your dev installed, it should be automatic. So let's try. So depending on your PC, uh, if you type something, it will take time on your or the application to recognize. Now, make sure that the dev or the tar are existing or installed on your PC. Now, to know that, okay, so while waiting for this one, you can simply check by checking the terminal by typing this one. So this will list all the application installed 
in your Ubuntu. So to do that, we'll make sure to check if the dev is installed. Now, only these cases if if you seen some errors during the installation. So make sure that everything is settled or installed so that there won't be a problem during the installation process. So since, as you can see here, it's already starting to load, so I bet this is okay. So we're going to wait for a while. So while waiting, you can do it on your own by using this command or just double click. So just simply double click those files and then see or check your Ubuntu itself if it exists. Okay, good. Okay, so at this point here, our dev is ready to install. So let's click now the install package by clicking this button. And you make sure you entered your admin account. All right, once done, let us head over now to Azure Data Studio. Head for this section here, under the Show Application, then look for Azure, then select this application here. All right, at this point here, let us connect now to our SQL Server. If you are in this section, just head over to this icon here. Then let's click the new connection. From this section here, let us type the following. So in the server, let us type localhost. For the username, we're going to use the SA and for the password, make sure you remember the admin password that we set earlier. So I'm going to paste that. Then make sure you're going to remember that password. Okay, next. Since we don't have the database yet, we can simply connect directly. So just click connect. Then, if you see this message, just click this Enable Trust Server Certificate. And there you go. Now that we completed the installation for the Azure Data Studio, you can create now your database and table as well. Now to do that, you can simply select from this section here and do the normal creation from what you will do during your or if you experience using Azure in Windows. So that's it guys. Once again, if you found this video informative, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for any future videos just like this. Cheers!